Hello, I'd like to share with you our exercise snacks routine. Easy exercises you can do at home to build physical activity into everyday life. All you need is a chair and a tea towel. They take very little time, so no excuses. I'll show you how to make each one a little easier and a little harder. You can do them whenever you choose. So let's go. This is the seated leg raise. So you're going to start off sitting right back in the chair, fully supported, nice and tall and upright. And then simply raise one leg and hold it out in front. You'll feel those thigh muscles having to work to keep it there. Now, hold for up to 10 seconds and then lower that leg down and repeat on the other side. Don't try and lift the leg too high. Keep it lower than the level of the chair. So up to 10 seconds on each leg, 10 times. Now, what's really great about this one is it's something you can do while you're watching the television, the adverts come on, just to be able to activate the muscles in the thighs. Really helps as well if you've got a bit of achy knees. Now, when you're starting to get stronger and you want to progress, you can come forward on the chair. At first, you might need a cushion behind you and that will give you a little bit of support and then ultimately be able to sit really tall. Good for your core muscles here as well. This time as you're raising one leg, you'll see how much heavier it feels, how hard it is to hold in that position. And again, work up to 10 seconds, lower down and repeat on the other side and work towards 10 on each leg. So if you're struggling a little bit, stay fully supported, do fewer repetitions and hold for less time. This is the slow sit to stand. We'll start off with a sturdy chair. You can place the chair against the wall if you're concerned about it moving or it's on a slippy floor. So you feel totally secure with the chair. We're going to start off standing up touching the chair with the back of the leg so we know it's right there and then lower our bottom down into the back of the chair as slowly as you can. Now you can either reach back with the hands and sit down and then hip walk forwards to come for the front half or third of the chair, bring the heels back and stand again. As Soon as you're up, pump those heels and touch the chair or you might want to keep your arms out to counterbalance, whatever feels most comfortable for you. Sit down slowly as you can. Real control there, working those thigh muscles, bottom muscles and hips. Hip walk forwards, heels back, and up we go again. Pump the heels, touch the chair, and maybe try with arms across your chest. That one is a little harder. The same with getting up from the chair. And we're working towards doing five of these to really try and work on building up strength through the legs with a very easy exercise that you can do very regularly. So it's a great one to do if you've been sitting for a while and you just need to break up that sitting time. So it's something you could do, well, every time you get out your chair, just do an extra few sit to stands. Now, if you're struggling with this one, especially if you find it a bit hard on the knees, then start off with an easier version where you simply sit tall in the chair and push your heels right down into the floor. You'll feel the thigh muscles and your glutes activating. Hold for 10 seconds and relax. And just work on getting these leg muscles stronger and doing the leg raise, which will help to build up strength. And if you want to progress, because you feel that that's getting a little easier, then 
add in the repetition. So in, you can do 10 or you can build up to doing 30 seconds sit to stand nice and quickly like we have on our cup routine instead. This is the one leg balance. For this, you're going to need to hold on at first for support. You could be holding the wall, the kitchen work surface, or sturdy chair or table. So we're going to soften the knee on one leg and engage the core muscles. Just bring in the belly button, keep breathing normally so that you're nice and tall with good posture before you start. Now raise the other foot. You don't have to lift too high at first and then see if you can hold for up to 30 seconds. Start off with maybe 10 seconds and build up gradually. You can put your foot down at any time. Let's change now and go on to the other one. Soften the knee and lift and hold. Now gradually, as you get stronger and your balance improves, you start to reduce contact with the support. You may be just a fingertip touch. And ultimately, we want to work towards being able to hold for 30 seconds without having to hold on to anything at all. Build up gradually and remember, always have a safe space and you can put your foot down anytime you need to. Now, if you're finding that a little bit of a challenge, then have support and do a heel raise instead. So both feet are on the ground as you lift the heels and hold. From the side, you can see lifting and holding, keep holding for support, and then gradually take away some of that support until you feel stronger. And you can work towards then a one leg balance instead. Now, it's a great one for you to do when you're waiting for the toast to pop up or the kettle to boil, or if you're brushing your teeth, so it becomes regular and it's a habit. When you're ready to progress and that gets easy, then hold for longer, up to a minute on each side. And when that feels easy, you can try doing it with your eyes closed. But that's when you're really ready and steady on your feet. This next one is the shoulder circles. And all you need is your tea towel. So leaving it out is going to remind you to pick it up and use it as a little bit of a prompt for this easy exercise. So standing nice and tall, feet hip width apart, hold that tea towel around shoulder width apart and keep it taut so it's nice and firm and hands stay the same distance apart. And we're simply going to start circling. Circling it around, just in a big circle that feels comfortable to you. So if this is feeling uncomfortable, I'll show you an alternative exercise in a moment. We're aiming for around five circles in each direction. Now, if you want to progress this, you can make the circle bigger. So trying to go down with the knee dip, reaching further, higher and out to the side. So it's a bigger circle. And it really feels nice. You're activating all the muscles around the arm, shoulder, into the spine and hips as well. And just five nice big circles each way. So this is a great one to do when you're in the kitchen and you see the tea towel, it's the prompt to remember to do it. If you're struggling with this, and you find it's a little bit uncomfortable for your shoulders, then you can do much smaller circles and a lower number of repetitions, or you can simply do shoulder circles instead, up, round, and back and down. So imagine you're squeezing the shoulder blades in towards each other as you roll the shoulders and work up to doing 10 of those instead.